Hey guys, it's Karina. Today I wanted to do a quick video um, just talking about a little bit of an experience I had that I was thinking about right now and I thought it would be cool to talk to you guys about while I finish doing my makeup for work. Um, I'm going to be talking to you today about my first club night and this this event happened when I turned 18. Um, I had... I had a few experiences like going to like concerts and stuff already but I never went out to a golf club before and I was super excited because one of my older friends from back in high school had invited me with her and her group that seemed to have been going like every like month and I was super excited because I hadn't seen these girls since like they were in high school and they were like maybe like a year older than me and they had just graduated a year before me and I hadn't seen them at all after that and they were super cool people, really really sweet. Um, I was more close to one girl than I was close to the others. Uh, the others I kind of met through this girl, and they were really sweet girls. Um, I think I think a guy went with us as well, but uh, I was super stoked because I didn't have to drive. <laughs> I didn't have to drive all the way to LA for this club. It was actually my first club was, to my knowledge, far as I know, story. and I remember this place specifically because of my first encounter with the fetish room <laughs> at this club and honestly I was very innocent minded at this time. I did have a couple of boyfriends but I wasn't that crazy or knowledgeable about that kind of stuff especially at that time. Um, so. Yeah, we had all just uh, carpooled because we all lived about an hour and a half away from the club and I was so excited. Um, we were all dressed up in our little get-ups. I think I was wearing more like basic like clothing because at the time I was barely able to afford like some black, I think I was wearing black jeans uh, my favorite things to wear were like corsets and like those like almost renaissance looking tops like ones like it's kind of like this hopefully you guys can see it kind of like this kind of top but i was tucked it underneath my corset and that's kind of what i wore i think i did have some like platform shoes but nothing too crazy at that time i wasn't really working or anything i was uh, trying to focus on saving up a little bit of money for my college experience the next year so that's what I wore but these other girls were a little bit more dressed up than me and um anyway we all had piled into the car and we, and we drove out to LA we did pretty good on our way there nothing happened and we got into the club safely and I fell in love with this club I think no, I think it's no, I think it's a different club that's my favorite. But I do love the way this one is set up because it had four different like dance rooms. I didn't really know that like these clubs were that big, especially for it being in the alternative scene. Um, I was a little bit surprised because I mean I never really heard anything about goth clubs before, but I did know that it wasn't really like like one of the the biggest scenes out there, but. It seemed like it's a pretty big scene because uh, the clubs I've been to so far in LA are pretty spacious, but it had four different dance rooms. It had different music, kind of slightly different things going on, but they were all still like dark and they just had different like lighting effects going on. And they had this room, uh, it was like the only upper floor room that was accessible by the general people coming in. And that was a special room. Special room. So. When we first got in, I just kind of wandered around and I wanted to see all the different rooms. Like I think anyone would naturally want to do. I went through all different uh, dance floor rooms and I loved it. I loved all the music they were playing. And this place, I think it's actually um, all goth clubs that I've been to recently. Um, the music is amazing. I think they had a bunch of different DJs in these rooms, but I don't think they had any performances going on at the time, at least I didn't see anything, and I'm trying to remember because I've been to this club 
so much but every time I've gone they had like a different theme going on I don't know if it's just because the times of year I was going but this was around August that I went to this one and they had it was so beautiful they had Ah, oh, just you guys need to go to these clubs. <laughs> I can't really describe it because I don't remember identically what these rooms looked like. But Bar Sinister is a beautiful club. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I went through all these different rooms. And my friends were like, hey, let's go to the upper floor and see what's going on. So I went with them and I didn't know that this was like a fetish room until... We went into the fetish room and uh, when you go up there, it's really cool looking. They have these couches um, that are kind of like a little bit lower. So you kind of, you're chilling more like down watching or just, just, it looks like a very chill vibes room. Like there's a, these really cool dressed people and just, oh, I love the fashion when I go into these clubs. That was the thing that stood out most to me about the clubs. I didn't really like, I didn't remember the rooms. I remembered the people and how they dressed and I just I love fashion you guys uh, and around this time I think Killstar was like an okay thing in the scene but I don't think it was a big thing I think it was still like punk rave and I think restyle was a big thing at the time I don't recall but I don't recall seeing anybody wearing Killstar at a club at that time um, but anyway, let's get back to the subject I'm trying to avoid. Now, we were upstairs, and I was looking at all these people's fashion, because it was more visible in this room, like, everybody's style was more visible. Um, not that the other rooms weren't, like, horrible lighting, but the way the lighting was in this room, it was slightly like a, like a dim red. Uh, cool lighting to this room, and I just loved how it made everyone's clothing look. Lighting is everything. But there was these people chilling on the couch area on the left side of the room as you're walking in, and a lot of people were standing up, like kind of facing this corner of the room, and there was like a huge crowd of people that were all up, like facing this corner of the room. And I was like, why are these people standing here? And at the time, I don't think it started, but I was asking questions and they were like, oh, this is the fetish room. And I was like, I was like, fetish room? <laughs> and yeah, people were getting whipped in that room. Not spending, but I just think that's an interesting, like, that's an interesting thing for me. I don't know, I'm interested in learning about a lot of walks of life and a lot of people's interests and when I had first encountered this room I was like wow I'm like okay okay uh, being the innocent minded person that I was at the time I was like okay you know all right <laughs> as my voice is cracking up and people were of course waiting in line to take part in these events so I know, I just chilled up there for like a little bit and then I went down to the regular dance floors and just uh, started looking at how people were dancing because everybody wanted to dance and I am not the best dancer, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of just go with the flow of like how everybody else around me is dancing and I pick up from there. Um, but I love how people dance. I especially like when people do that thing where they're reaching for the apples and they're like bringing it down and just going with it. Oh, it's so like... It's surreal how people can dance so beautifully to the music and how everybody has their own like style of dancing. They just twist it a little bit. But I loved that way of dancing and what people are doing like the it's called industrial industrial dances. Those are really cool dances to me. But yeah, I've tried my best to pick up on how they were dancing. I don't know if I could I don't think I did too well at it, but I feel like maybe people were more understanding. Nobody pointed it out or were laughing at me for how I was dancing. I don't think people generally care. They're mostly there for the music themselves and they don't... There was a lot of chill vibes, you know? There was a lot of chill vibes. I think people knew that I was learning, hopefully. At least I didn't see anybody laughing at me, so 
it's a positive. But anyway, um, yeah, so it was good vibes for the rest of the night. I loved it. Like, these clubs make me feel at home. I feel so good when I'm there. Like, you don't even have to be drinking or anything. Just, like, just go into the middle of the dance floor and just, just feel, like, feel out the music, feel out the vibes of the room. Look how everybody's swaying to the music when they're dancing. It's so beautiful. Um, I very much love goth clubs. Not really for the interaction, which you probably should be doing when you're at these clubs. You should be meeting people and you should be uh, learning as much as you can from each person. Like, if you're especially if you're new to the goth scene, do not be afraid to like you know uh, to talk to people. But at the same time, like just kind of like feel out the vibes. You know, like just like um, I'm trying to think of the word, but just absorb the the environment and. I think anybody who's dark alternative can appreciate the vibes that these clubs have to offer and I do recommend if you've never been to a goth club, definitely try to find one in your area. Uh, let me know if you guys have had any uh, experiences at a goth club. If you guys would like, I could talk more about the different experiences I've had. I've had a lot of different kind of, some are unsafe experiences at these goth clubs and I wouldn't mind sharing some of those stories with you guys if you guys are down to hear it from me. But I'm gonna go ahead and go guys, I have to actually get ready to leave right now, but I hope this, I hope that this um, trendy video went, wasn't too boring, I hope uh, I opened up a little bit and you guys are understanding what I'm saying because I am a bit of an antisocial chick that has a hard time telling stories about like yourself, I don't know, I love hearing people's stories but I kind of suck at it communicating but i'd love to work on that with you guys so let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this if you guys would like me to clarify anything please do uh let me know down below i would love to talk to you guys and i think that's it for me but i'll see you guys later